Hello, Gemini Seeker. Welcome to the Existential Shift. My name is Morgaine, if you're new. If you're not, you know. <laughs> Gemini for the month of November. Happy Halloween. I have no clue <laughs> what I'm about to say to you. Queen of Pentacles. Because you want to hold your cards close to your heart. It's not because you don't know what's going on. You know, you just don't want to share. Um, this is not the by-the-book interpretation of the Queen of Pentacles, no. The Queen of Pentacles can be very given and nurturing. and But it can also be very threatened and holds her cards close to heart out of fear of loss with you i don't think it's out of fear of loss necessarily maybe strategic i don't see it as a bad thing if this comes to me in the shape of the queen of pentacles i don't think it's a bad thing maybe you're just owning to your adulthood maybe it's like okay time for me to plan ahead with longevity, be smart about things, be practical, and something about that state of mind, page of wands. So page of wands is like the opposite energy of what I just described. It's very um, expressive, very outwardly really shares and you don't want to but someone wants you to share someone wants you to talk someone wants you to expose maybe in december it will be a better timing maybe in a month from now but not now right now you're still in the new in the full moon and taurus kind of element you're planting the seeds you're working on them you want them to grow you want to take care of them you want to tend to them you want to make sure that the right amount of water is being given, the right amount of sun is being given, the right amount of air, and you don't want any... nothing to take away from that focus. And there might be a fire sign around you that be like... What? <laughs> No, it's okay. You're doing good. You're doing good, Gemini. Keep keep up with that strategy. In December, yes. Time for expansion. Time for show. Time for communicating things. But right now, if you're in that mood, if you're resonating with me, with what I'm saying, keep it up. It's okay. Now, it's counterintuitive for a Gemini, right? Geminis love to talk about their plans and show how much they're witty and knowing and got it all covered. But you're, you're growing up a little bit, Gemini. You're starting to look at the world from, other, from another point of view. That is not just the analytical, cognitive, expressive... Um, all over kind of the magician the magician can only manifest once it learns how to harness his or hers energy know how much to put when to put where to put and this is your growth Gemini because you're so talented and you're so capable and you're so smart but when you spread it around and you don't harness it and allow it to grow and 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 empower then it loses its 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 grip okay but now you're making sure you're holding the grip i'm harnessing my energy i communicate when i need to communicate the right amount of the right amount of communication the right amount of actions I'm not falling into the trap of the devolved Gemini, which is great. And look what it brings with success. 
Can you see? Sorry, the lighting is a little bit different today. Oh, my food. I don't like my nail, my nail polish. <laughs> I need to renew. The sun, the sun, the sun. Here, now you can see. It brings success. Major success with a project that you've been working on. Something that you have been putting your energy in. And I feel and I feel like towards the, the end of the month of November or the beginning of December, even closing in on January will be a far better time than now to kind of go go out with it. Um, and you know it. You, I think you, you, so many of you who are watching now kind of intuitively know it and you're planning towards that. You're, you're building it in a way that it will happen in that matter. Okay, interesting. Let's see further. What is this? What's this about? What else do we need to see for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars in my case? You're on a roll. The Empress. No, my nail polish is disgusting. I'm so sorry. I mean, it's gorgeous color, but I forgot to renew it. I'm sorry. Hmm. The Empress. This is a new Vision Tarot, by the way. This is why it looks like the Rider Waite, but not. It's like behind. So I have the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. Both very earthly, very benevolent, very um, fruitful and bountiful. And they're great soil. for things to grow on. And even though it's winter, it still feels like the sun is shining on whatever it is that you're doing. Seven of Swords, yes, but it still requires being smart about it. There's an, there's an interesting um, push and pull energy between expression and um, being careful because you don't want people taking what is yours. Now, I don't like this whole what is yours thing because none of us invented anything. The only great creator here is nature and we're, we're all just imitating nature, okay? And cards has existed in forever. All the stories has been existed in forever. We just take a different point of view and would give it our extra flair into it and then it becomes ours but whatever let's think mundane you don't want no one think taking your inspiration idea creativity and that's okay i can i can understand that i can relate to that so yeah keep creating keep manifesting keep being smart about it control your ego because the ego really wants to show off, right? This is what we're doing. This is what we're working on. The ego loves that stuff. It wants to show how talented we are. The things that we've come up with. But please be patient and wait until it's the perfect time. Okay, all right. Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords. Yesterday I had the same thing. Who was it? Leo. Watch Leo. Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. And that's right after the Seven of Swords. Yeah, be careful who you share your ideas with, okay? Who you talk about your inspiration, your process, your uh, craft. Because 
someone that might be seemingly giving you advice, talking to you, well, it, it, will, it, it might backfire in a way. I don't know. I don't want to go to the extreme of them taking it and doing it themselves. But it's something that has annoyance to it and could create delay with whatever it is that you want to do. Because now you need to figure out a different way to go about it because someone else is doing it now. Um, this might be someone close to you, Gemini. So be very discerning with whom you're sharing. Even if it's a close friend. I don't know. It's just... Especially if it's an air sign. A fellow air sign to Gemini. Yeah, competition. Now, I'm a big advocate for competition. I think it's healthy. I think it um, promotes uh, growth and moving forward and creativity. And, you know, it, it goes against naturally going stagnant if we're successful. We constantly, like, feel the need to renew. Um, but in this case, I'm not seeing... I, I don't like this. I have the tower right behind it. Okay, so I recommend to not go into competition in the next month, to not provoke competition, to not uh, overly expose your ideas or communicate about them. Even if it's like, if someone provokes you to it in a way, either by acting all sweet and like, I just want to know, or even the opposite of, oh, I bet you have nothing up your sleeve. What could you possibly be having going for you? Like, don't try to prove them wrong. Just be quiet, and if you're something tomorrow, then you're something today. Then, then show them, prove them wrong in a month or in two months from now. Okay? Better safe than sorry. And right after that, I have the King of Swords. I'm not taking the Ace of Cups right now because this is not resonating with the vibe. If it will come up, it will come up soon because this was the bottom of the deck. But I took the King of Swords because I had the Queen of Swords right in the opposite direction. This could very well be someone that is really close to you, that you're normally cooperating with, talking to. Air signs are very strong here. Earth signs are very strong, but Earth signs are looking good and supportive. Air signs, uh, I wouldn't um, go into partnership. There is a partnership going bad here, unfortunately. Something that is seemingly supposed to work out really well, that like allegedly there's great communication, but the intention isn't pure, and I feel like you should be careful who you're trusting. I, I hate to take this to this type of reading of like seemingly negative, but you know, if it comes up, then it's important. And these readings are here to help, you know, so sometimes help comes in the face of a warning or like a heads up. This could be avoided by being smart and really being per uh, particular with whom you're sharing knowledge and information with. Be discerning. Be suspicious. Yeah, Six of Swords. Um, there's a need of taking a break or a distance from something, from a certain way of Aquarians are Le and Libras are very strong in this reading. This could be someone giving you an advice from a really good place, you know, like they want to, but it only actually comes from their bad experience and they'll end up ruining a good opportunity for you. This also can be something like that, where someone's like advising you and they're really sharp about it and they're really like firm about it and they're like, no, this is it, but it, it, it just comes from their um failure um and you want to take a break on, with that take a leave of absence like take your distance a little bit from conversation with this person or from taking advice from this person um because it's just not it's not gonna serve you listening to that energy sorry gemini Okay. 
let's let's see further into this because good things are happening for you i don't want it to slip away from your fingers because you spoke to the wrong person in the right time in the wrong time okay ace of pentacles good yes hold your pentacle you will be given a pentacle if you'll take that kind of break mental break from this person or from these people or from whatever and if you keep your coins close to heart your plan your investment then it will be given to you full force it will um, it will succeed in the best way possible in the right time good come back to this reading mid-november to make the connections see if you don't understand what i'm talking about right now maybe it will make more sense um in a few weeks from now speaking of you can watch your october reads right now and make connections for the energy that goes on right now right and of course always watch your other placements they give a lot of extra knowledge. Four of Pentacles. Okay, don't go too far with holding your coins. <laughs> don't go to a point of paranoia. I know. It's, it's a thin line. And I'm kind of giving, giving you, um, you know, confusing messages, doubled messages. But just be balanced with it. Once it's time, once it's out, once it's yours be bountiful with it and don't keep the um once it once it's too much then it's it's not good holding on too much okay because you're already now too timid to do anything that has to do with sharing or exposing because what if it's just in the next few weeks this energy um and then once it's released it's released it's good it will bring with financial success that's why i want you to be careful at least in the initial stages of this whatever this is guys if you're not resonating wait for your extended and also watch your other placements sorry these are general readings the chariot and the five of swords wow someone is not happy with your success or you're not happy with someone else's success this could also be by uh, the opposite gemini this could also be your energy you know if you're this is energy of competition, jealousy, spitefulness, wanting to be the only one. It doesn't work. Life is a, um, a balance of communication and of, you know, of cooperation. I'm sorry, but also of independence. And you need to know where to put, where to draw the line when it's too much independent or too much cooperative. You know, hold your ground, but not to the extent of being... A fanatic and someone is constantly like in battle mode Gemini's have been in battle mode at least in the past half six months like the readings have the same kind of similar energies I don't like the energy of the chariot and the and the five of swords this is winning at all costs kind of thing um, have you the five of wands it's like one of those things that you end up you win and then you end up looking back thinking that it wasn't really worth it and you know maybe you, you don't even remember what it is that you were fighting for in the first place kind of thing and we're going from the four of swords to the five of swords and then we also had the six of swords there was like a truce a recess and then we're going back to this energy gemini it started out so pretty Let's fix this. Let's let's heed the advice of the cards and of spirit. How can we balance the scales in the situation? <laughs> Justice. No, this is like the cards are just hysterically funny. How can mm -hmm. we balance and make it right? The justice. Just balance. It's like, well, just balance it. What do you mean? How do you balance? You just balance. You make it right. What is right will be set right, okay? So if you're right, then you'll be right. <laughs> if you're wrong, then you'll be wrong, okay? So 
I wouldn't fight for your point at all costs. Make sure that you're right. Make sure that the just the justice is on your side um, before you like being very stern and harsh. But if you're really, really, really sure of yourself, both morally and logically, um, then yeah, just go just go straight in and make sure that you win. But keep in mind the the judge, whoever judges it, he will be fair. So you won't be able to avoid um, justice, or the person involved, the people involved, won't be able to avoid justice. Also, there's an element of on the surface things look very successful, but inwards, like. They're really stifle. Oh, great energy to come in. Queen of Cups. This is water energy, much softer, much more um, accepting, receptive, receptive, acceptance, um, intuitive, caring, healing. So someone is coming. It, it, it's, it's someone. It's an individual that really helps with the situation and brings a much softer energy to all of this and kind of brings peace to this. I have three queens on the table, but they're like in completely different uh, place placements and on the table. So this third individual will, will be able to kind of bring balance and unity into this, like bringing someone else into the picture after all this mess uh, would really help ease the tension. Um, and going about it on a softer, more emotional, kind of cooperative kind of manner. Um, this is, say, after there was a conflict and a blow up. Um, mm. There's time for reconciliation or, you know, setting things in place, putting things in their place. Okay, we have enough cards on the table. Let's take a look, okay? Let's take a look. All right. After this, by the way, I'm going to give you messages from the Akashic Tarot. And before that, I'll show you your extended. But now I just I want to stare at this for a little bit. <laughs> So there's definitely back and forth rival rivalry slash friendship. Like this is like someone who's close to you. So this could be family members. So these are people that are close to you, but are also annoying. <laughs> like that you get along and you don't get along. This could be um, co-workers that you've been working with for years and years. Um, so you really know each other very well. So when you fight, it's like it's almost like siblings are fighting. Yeah. But these are serious matters. Um, these are things that you can't just kiss and make up. You need to resolve certain issues um, that you've been trying to escape from. It's been helpful to take a break, but it's almost like, okay, you're back. Things seem right for just a little bit, and then they start off again. Um, and November will be the culmination of it. Like There will be a lot of it. Things will come up into the surface that you, know, you and or your environment has been avoiding. Um, communicating about, you know, figuring out. And now it's like you can't avoid it anymore. You have to... There's a lot of tension here. Um, around mid-November, like between, like around the new moon in Scorpio, up until Venus leaves Libra, um, it feels a little bit chaotic. Again, it's just something that I, it's good that you're watching this. I'm not trying to be, uh, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm sorry. It's just, I, I want to help you through this. You know, if this resonates with you, I want you to, okay, the best advice I can give you is be very honest and discerning and positive to the best of your ability without um, failing the truth. 
okay? So if the truth is really, 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 really upsetting, then you have to be upsetting, okay? You can't avoid it. But try to have your communication as clear um, and as clean as possible. Like, try not to let ego and anger talk out of you because certain things you won't... It's very, very difficult energy. So certain things that you'll say, you won't be able to bring back. So be very careful with your communication, very accurate. Say only the necessary evil and the best, most benevolent truth. Um, Gemini, what's going on? Um, t write me in the comments, you know, because there are a lot of good energies going on for you and you're working on things that are very good, but somewhere along the road things are getting you know a little bit and I feel like this is a lesson for you to not do things out of ego or out of arrogance and to not shoot shooting yourself in the foot okay when things are starting to look good don't um, jump ahead of yourself and be like oh I got everything and then there is somewhat of the element of arrogance and competitive element to this. It's like, remember what you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing, remember what you're doing this for. This is about inspiration. This is about expansion. This is about healing, right? This is about having, but not from the place of possession but from the place of being you know D don't get lost in the drama don't get lost in the soap opera don't be tempted to always say the, the last word because sometimes it will backfire at you many times especially the next month Be careful what you write. Be careful what you say, uh, especially what you write, because then you can't you can't delete that, right? Mm. Those of you who can afford to take a leave of absence, like literally taking a break, taking a vacation, going away until Venus finishes her retrograde in uh, Libra, because seemingly that's the um, problematic time frame please do that if you can't avoid being in the drama and not falling into that trap then just step away from it like go away you know and then come back when things are calmer and are not nitpicking at you and provoking you to be like that and if you're doing the pro the provoke the provocation uh provocation oh my god i can't say the word if you're provoking others don't if others provoke you avoid cooperating <laughs> let's see how your extended looks like you know what, what first i want to see the resolution for the end of the month how does the end of the month of october is looking as a conclusion for this message of conclusion for the general reading for my lovely Geminis for the month of November. Thank you. Two of Wands. Okay, great. Compromise, looking forward, leaving the past behind, focusing on what is important, focusing on what you initially set out, set out to do. This is very positive. And this is, yeah, it's what I said in the beginning. Towards the end of November, towards slash December, that will be the time. Once all this crap is resolved, excuse my language, and you know who's with who, who's in, who's out. The vibe will look much, much better. Okay, great. So this is optimistic. Now, let's look at your extended. This can literally bring something completely different. Let's connect the aces and take the major arcanas. 
Um, all the major arcanas are here. I feel like the, the aspect sorry, of the three queens is important. Usually I don't take the court cards with me, but maybe just that. And I'll think about these. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. Two aces are here. Six, seven. Interesting. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven of swords. We definitely need to address this. Two fives, two fours. Only one, two. Fours. Okay, and also the Ace of Swords. We're, we're allegedly missing the Two of Swords. Okay, so in case you're new or you're not familiar with my extendants, what's going to happen? I'm going to take the numerological aspect of the cards, right? Here, the chronological of so many swords from the sword. Um, you know what? Because there are so many swords, and I have to leave the king of swords here, especially because the queen of swords is right here, okay? And then I'll take this thing going on, I'll check this out, I'll talk about this, I'll talk about 4, 4, 5, 5, this, 1, 1. This is meaningful like from a different point of view, from the neurological and elemental aspect. Then I clean the table, do a new shuffle of a Celtic cross, which is a very um, organized narrative for the month of November. And then I finish off with a reading from the runes. Normally it's like two, three runes. I used to do one rune, now I take like two, three runes and it tells um, a story and it gives a very strong message. All right? So that will be your extended, and the link to that is below, alongside um, the link to Tarot Masterclass if you want to learn tarot. And you have my email there, guys. So if you want to email me, if you want to, help, if you want me to try and help you, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh at you. I'm sorry. It's just uh, a lot is going on, right, Gemini? And it's good stuff. You know, I have the sun, two aces. Like things can really work in your benefit. We just need to be smart about it. So, if you want to email me to set up private reading, please do all over the world, global. I'm here for you guys, okay? All right, and my email is also below in the information box. So now let's focus on receiving a message from the Akashic Records for my lovely Gemini's Sun, Moon, and Rising. We'll figure this whole out, this entire thing out, and the extended. Even more so. Hey, I gave you guidance and advice. It's a lot. We need to figure it out. So I'm going to do this now, after this. Okay, messages from the clear, benevolent message for the month of November for Gemini, my Gemini seekers. From the Akashic Records. While we're waiting, thank you guys very much for your support, for your subscriptions. Um, if you want to be notified that a new video of mine is coming, then subscribe, but also press the bell right next to it, and that way YouTube will let you know that your video is up, if you feel like it. Um, what else can I say? Mm, I'm just waiting for it to fall. I already put the intention into it. So I can tell you that I always read your comments and I really appreciate it. And thank you for the likes and shares. Happy Halloween. <laughs> there it is. I guess I needed to say happy Halloween. It fell though. Ooh, wow. This is, this is lovely reflection. So many are traveling. So many have like travel cards because this is also could indicate travel, but I also have the Six of Swords here. Uh, reflections number 19 like the Sun story time here we go read no just kidding 
Can you imagine if I was like, okay, now read. A full moon shines bright. Oh, it's your, uh, you have a full moon in Gemini at the end of the month. A full moon shines brightly over a quiet lake as a small ship glides gently through the water. The glow of the ship of the ship's lantern is reflected on the lake's surface along with the moonlight from above. This card can sometimes show a trip, particularly a trip over by water. More important, it can reveal that you now have a direct line to your psychic gifts. You are also more aware of your emotions and more reflective about, about them. You recognize the differences between your intuitive voice, which is calm and assured, and your lower emotional compulsions, which are urgent and sometimes fear-based. Let yourself gain even greater clarity and control over your emotions now. This also would be a great time for you to take classes in meditation, psychic development, counseling, healing, and other psychological and spiritual arts. If you have such an interest, if you have such an interest, sorry, your yin side is wide open and your receptivity is high. Trust your inner voice and you will be guided to greatness. Okay, great, Gemini. So let's um, organize this, all these energies in your extended. So I will seek, I will, I will seek you, seeker, in a second over there. Link below. Regardless, I will see you in December. Um, I love you dearly. It's an opportunity to subscribe if you want to join the family. And that's it. Bye for now.